Greetings, my people. What's up? Hope everybody's having a divine day. And sometimes nature can be very, very inspiring. And anytime I'm outside connected to nature, to the Divine Mother, the Divine Father, and everything else that is a reflection of the natural world, I'm inspired to talk on certain things, share some, share certain things, you know. And um, I guess we can talk today about the, let's just say, guides towards an active pineal gland, right? Guides towards an active pineal gland. And I know a lot of times, sometimes we hear about people pineal gland might be um, closed, right? Now, that can be true to a certain extent, but just know that if your pineal gland is absolutely closed and not functioning whatsoever, you will not have a physical experience. You will not be on this planet, <clears throat> right? Because you can see this here as where source streams itself, right? Where all that is streams itself. Where the true you streams itself, right? Not necessarily here, it's deep within the brain, but we associate it with here, right? Just because putting pressure here stimulates there. This is like a hologram for there. And, um, right, so we all have an active pineal gland, but most of us, through how life has been structured you know this area has been like um weakened has been lessened right so just to get, make that clear without an active pineal gland you'll be dead all right but a lot of times we want to you know instant gratification we just want to shoot to the top and nothing wrong with that because we can actually shoot to the top but we don't have that consciousness, awareness yet to be non-linear and to don't have to take certain steps in order to attain certain things, right? But just know that you will never have a fully activated pineal gland without having a healed gut, right? You will never have a fully activated pineal gland without having a healed gut. You will never have a mature heart without having a healed gut, right? So we have to focus on the foundation. A strong foundation is fundamental, right? It's not, it's like if you're trying to build a house, but you just wanna build a roof first, AKA just activate the pineal gland first. It's not gonna work, right? You have to have a strong foundation because once this place is fully active, you will know things to the point where if you're not mature in the heart you would want to violate people because you can see a girl you can see a guy and you just want them and you can influence them just by sending thought forms to them and have them give themselves to you right but that's a violation of that person's free will right somebody might get you angry and you may just want to mute this person and they can't speak you might do certain things to these people and erase their memories right with a real active pineal gland, you can do a lot of things. And this is why, right, the heart is the key towards an active pineal gland. i say that again, the heart is a key towards an active pineal gland. Because once you put good foods in the stomach, your stomach is gonna reproduce those good foods and those good foods is gonna become, they're gonna become like, like positive thoughts, right? And positive thoughts equal positive deeds and positive deeds equals a positive reality and all of these things now powers up the heart this is how what strengthens the heart right and once you tap more and more into the heart we let go fear we let go judgment we let go resentment we let go shame we let go all of these energy that is in the lower spectrum of um, consciousness expression right so to 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 like to properly get to the pineal gland right we want to eat wholesome food 
right? We want to hit wholesome foods, and there are certain foods that um, literally stimulate the, the pineal gland. I can't remember all, but I know almond nut, for one, is it, it helps um, stimulate this, this organ. But outside of all of that, the body is very simple and very divine. Whichever organs we want to stimulate, we apply pressure there. So you want to uh, stimulate the pineal gland. You just constantly hit this area because this is a hologram for the pineal gland, right? And just constantly keep hitting this area and you will be stimulating the pineal gland. And this can make it a little bit more active, but depending again on how active is the heart, you will get the matching amount of, um, let's just say, guides, downloads to, to match the frequency of the heart, right? But the gut is super, super, super important, right? So that's just some, some guides. Like you want to make sure that you're, you're eating healthy organic foods and you need your water, your clean distilled water, right? Spring water too. But because there's so much toxins in the body, like distilled water is the only water that pulls them out. And distilled water is all the liquids within your body, your blood, your urine, your breast milk, your saliva. They're all distilled, all fruit juice, um, all rain waters, snow, rain, dew. All of these are, are distilled, right? And it has a magnetic charge and all of these, these let's just say, environmental toxins, you know, that you're breathing, that's in the food, etc. They all have a negative, a positive charge, and the distilled water has a negative charge. So it basically finds all of the inorganic stuff and you pass it out through different means of the body. All right? And then you do things, you do kindness, you live in kindness, you live in love, you have higher thoughts. You don't ever, ever, ever entertain victimhood. All right? Because all of these is lower expression, and any type of shame, guilt, resentment, anger. All of these shut down the heart, specifically the thymus gland, which is the protective sac of the heart. And all of these things stimulate this area in a negative, contracting way. Right? Energy has two forms of expression. Right? Expansion and contraction. And I think within itself, it explains everything. Expansion energy allows you to be more of who you are because your energy field is expanded and more, you know, you can reach out farther to source to, to pull in more of what you're in alignment with. But contraction energy keeps you like worried, fearful, etc. And then when you're in this fearful state, all you have in the moment is energy to survive in that moment, right? Because you're not going to be in fear and thinking about, oh, let me get smarter because your body is no operate like that. Your body gives you everything you need in the moment to survive for that moment but if in an expansive state everything and then you have different means of expression different means of joy different means of laughter different means of of making money different means because your energy fields are expanded right so fear and these things do your best to not entertain them because all of these affects your pineal gland all of these affects your pineal gland drinking pipe water all of these affect it but none of these things are more powerful than love right love neutralizes everything and this is why you will receive information based upon the frequency of the heart right but the heart is not gonna because the body work as one so you can't really give one precedence over over the other because right? they don't really work like that it's like they're all communicating right they're all tied into each other and once the foundation is being supported then you know you can add on to, to other aspects of um, life other aspects of creation other aspects of consciousness expression right so again to simplify it to summarize it healthy food is necessary for active pineal gland because the gut I already call it the core and the core help better express the intelligence of the gut because everything stems from this core and once the core have good information to send to the brain right then the brain is going to pick up on multi on different forms of information right that is going to allow the heart now to process right or to to give it as much as as it is being given 
if that makes sense right because the heart knows it all the heart literally knows it all right but it's just gonna give you what you want because you can't give a child a tool that you don't know how to use right the heart knows everything where our true health resides it knows literally everything right but once this is fully activated right we're gonna have higher forms of, of um, ability to express ourselves in our organic authentic loving way and then we are able to pull in more from this region right but if you want stimulate it to help it to to become more present but you're only gonna get as much as you as you as you're able to to receive based upon how you live your life you know like violent movie angry movies all of these things affect this region you know angry music even love songs you know those sad love songs <laughs> all of these things affect this region families right so you want to be in pure states of joy pure states of bliss as much as you can right but that takes different levels of mastery because i know society has been feeding us fear for all of our lives for these specific reasons right so that love will be suppressed and once love is suppressed everything else will you know be suppressed right because love is the key to everything the heart is the key to everything all right so hopefully this video makes some sense i know there's there's a few things in it that you know I'm, I'm usually rumbling a lot in this stuff because i don't write down any stuff if i want to speak i just speak i just let you know divinity express itself to me and i know sometimes there's some people would look at that mispronunciations of words or look at all of these things right but but that's just just you know those are those people who focus on the messenger and miss the message right but um when you're operating differently you will get the message and you will just you know it could even give the messenger two middle finger because you get the message right but perceptions become reality but anyway family is one love and i don't really care to to perfect this this matrix to perfect this this english language that literally restricts your throat chakra from from using deep words you know that stimulate you know the waters in the body to create different geometric frequencies different geometric patterns right so so um just saying all that to say like yes people can look and judge like oh you're not speaking this way but me personally i don't give two f's about you know um properly speaking because you know <laughs> this this does not um this does not go in alignment with me expressing the god within because this english language is is like a matrix is, is like the last um language that was created right is, is subsets of, of all these other languages etc and um you know it's it's not original in its in its sense and it don't allow you to speak properly like ha ra ham you don't speak like this you have to always shallow very shallow right and this mess up the throat chakra this mess up the the vibration because everything is vibration everything needs some kind of like 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 vibration some kind of heavy stimulant to invigor more more life right so so don't don't act like you know like you have to be this and speak like that you know and, and shouting and stuff you know the yell all of these things stimulate everything in the body so children always yelling like these are things we have to relearn you know man but thankfully we're we're on on a journey where we're going to remember stuff and we're going to be able to be childlike again right be able to be childlike again but anyway family it's all love and loving love is sharing you know sharing is caring